what's up it's your girl Renee Barnett and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video I'm going to be showing you a super easy way to make your own flaxseed gel. If you're new to my channel go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're notified whenever I create a new video. For this hair gel you'll need whole brown flax seeds, you'll need distilled water, Lang Lang essential oil, lavender oil, a jar to store your flax seeds, a bowl to strain your flax gel, a spoon of your choice, cheesecloth, which is great for keeping the small seeds from getting into your actual gel, and a pot. Flax seed is a great and affordable way to detangle your hair, define curls, and add moisture and shine to your hair the natural way. So I start by adding two and a half cups of distilled water to my pot. Now I prefer using distilled water, but if you have filtered water, that will work as well. Next, I'm going to add my flax seeds. Now I measured out one half cup of flax seed. I transferred my flax seed from the plate to the measuring cup just for accuracy. And this will give me about four to six ounces of flaxseed gel to use. So if you visited my channel before, you know that I have really been into making my own natural hair and body products. And I've been focusing on adding moisture to my curls and achieving healthy hair. So flax seeds are an excellent source of fiber which helps to strengthen the hair. It contains omega-3 fatty acids which help improve the elasticity and binds moisture to the hair and that means more hydration, less breakage, and fewer split ends. So other nutrients that can be found in flax seeds include vitamin B. Now this is the nutrient known to make your hair grow stronger and healthier. There's also vitamin E, and it's the antioxidant that helps to fight free radicals on your scalp, and it also promotes hair growth. Now, as my flax seeds continue to simmer, the liquid is going to start thickening up and will eventually turn into a gel-like consistency. So I'm just gonna let my flax seeds boil for about 10 minutes and stir it occasionally. So guys, if I had to compare the smell of flax seeds to anything, I would have to say it smells like fresh black tea. Now, it's not a strong tea smell, but it definitely reminds me of that. And I like tea, so I actually like how this smells. So as you can see, my gel is starting to get thicker and thicker. And this is a pretty cool process to watch. I also love that I can take products that naturally grow from the earth and nourish my body on the inside and convert them in my own home to a product that also nourishes my body on the outside. So once you start to see it sort of clump together, then you know your flaxseed gel is almost ready. As I stir my flaxseed, I can see how the texture has completely changed into that gel-like consistency that I want. And I know this because it's stringy, it's sticking to my spoon, and it's sort of like a slime, you know, the slime that you used to play with as a kid. So this lets you know that your flaxseed gel is ready.
So now I'm going to remove the flaxseed from the heat and let it cool for about 30 minutes before I move on to the next step. So as you can see, it's cooled down and now the texture is even more stiff, which means it has set and is now ready for me to extract the gel from the seeds. It's so gooey and that means it's the perfect consistency for twist outs and braid outs to give your hair a nice amount of hold. For this step, I'm going to use cheesecloth and I've decided to extract my gel back into my measuring cup so that I can see just how much gel I actually have. And just as a side note, you can use a strainer with very small holes or a stocking to extract the gel, but cheesecloth is my personal preference. So guys, once you have all of your flaxseed in the cheesecloth, you're just going to start to squeeze the flaxseed to extract the gel. And you may have to put a little bit of muscle into this step, and the gel is now room temperature, so you don't have to worry about burning your hands or your fingertips. So now that all of my gel is out, you can see the actual consistency. It's not too thick or too liquidy, it's just right. So now I'm going to add my Lang Lang essential oil, which is a floral scent along with my lavender essential oil. And I added two or three drops per oil and I'm just gonna mix it in. Now I love both of these scents together because it's a nice fresh floral and relaxing scent. So now I'm just transferring the gel into my jar and look at that consistency. It's perfect and it smells great. So I'm going to be using this gel as a twist out and braid out gel, but you can also apply it as a scalp treatment or a hair mask and wash it out after 15 minutes and shampoo as usual if you prefer. And finally, I'm going to pop a cute little label on the jar so that no one touches my flaxseed gel. And because I didn't use a preservative, I can actually store it in my refrigerator for just about a week. Okay guys, that's it. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and leave me a comment to let me know if you'll be trying this hair care DIY. Thanks again for watching. See you in the next video.